So we are finally waiting for the flight to board. We've got about 15 minutes before we get on. They have to sanitize, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Harbor Bay, Harbor View, sorry. <laughs> it's dope. Got my little hammock. It's lit. I'm staying in one of the cottages. The cool thing about it across the street is mainly plant-based foods, which is, you know, vegan-ish. It's the city. Walk to the pool. Cute little pool. Here's a quick tour of the room. Nice little area. The bed is huge. Got Wi Fi TV. It's nice and clean. The bathroom is super clean. That's my biggest thing. And anywhere I go, the bathroom has to be clean. I really like this place so far. Nice. Mm, look what I see. Mangoes. What's up, y'all? This is Belize City. Get your picture? Yes. What's up? Um, you said what? Country. Welcome to beautiful country. Everybody who's looking at this. Yes. I don't beg money and I'm scared to steal. Listen well. Yes. I wash cars, I recycle bottles, I do errands for the security. Radisson Grey Toast to to our taxi and people trust me. I teach English and Spanish both ways to subsidize. However, here's your biggest surprise. Enlightening, educating, basically entertaining the tourists, which I can't do much now, no thanks to Corona, or the locals with Belizean history, if or when I get that good bloody opportunity. That's what I want, I'm with the winning prize. <laughs> Google my name! Yes, sir. Local historical guy, Prince. Charles Perez, we will meet again. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is one of the many signs that they have in Belize. Most of the tourists, they go straight to the Keys. I'm in Belize City. That's the lighthouse. Everything is shut down. It's deserted. But it's still beautiful. 
gonna get some nice vegan plant-based delicious hopefully delicious <laughs> food from Harbor View which is across the street from the hotel which is pretty much the same it's just the restaurant version it's called the Martha's Cafe we are in there Nice watermelon juice. This place is cute. Now this looks phenomenal. Oh. morning good morning finally got a haircut yes yes I'm feeling fresh um I'm gonna tag my barber his name is Malcolm the barber real cool young cat I met out here in Belize City it's my first time getting a haircut in Belize so that's pretty cool and um today we're just gonna explore uh Belize City a little bit chill see some family hang out with some family and that's it tomorrow we're gonna hit the keys so yep it's the morning vibes Birds is chirping. Now we are walking through Belize City. This is the terminal.
on our way to my family's restaurant and his lunchbox to get some fried jack. If you know me, I'm addicted to fried jack, so I'm super excited. Should gain about, I don't know, 10 pounds in fried jack <laughs> on this trip. But yeah. That's the water taxi right there to go to the Keys, which you'll see tomorrow. Famous swing bridge. A lot of memories here. Busy, busy, busy city. So this is my auntie's restaurant right here. Anna's lunch box. My family on this lunch box. So I'm about to get some fried jack from the family. You have to try Hannah's Lunchbox when you come to Belize. It is on 4 Bishop Street, I believe. I'm gonna put the address below. Yes, 4 Bishop Street. And um, tell them Randy sent you. They also have outdoor seating. I'm super early, so it's not set up yet. But as you can see, nice little view. It's the sign, proud of her, you know? Better Belize it. Oh man, I'm in heaven. Okay. Beans and fries. This one is no joke. I just had 18 fried jack at a uh, Anna's lunch box, man. Woo! So good. So I'm on my way now to get my ticket for tomorrow to go to the Keys. Knock it out. Stay tuned. This is the water taxi where you go to get to the Keys, San Pedro, Kikaka. Most tourists, they uh, fly in and come straight here. That's the boat right there. Those are the times. Where you come to get the boat to the keys. 